Hi everyone, I am Vipa Tulalisa, Assistant Professor from the Department of MRP, Azam Downtown University. In this session, I will be explaining briefly on the wider test, on the um, slide method. So, let us see what is wider test. So, this wider test is a serological test that is done for the diagnosis of typhoid fever caused by salmonella organism. And the antibodies to um, and the antibodies specific to flagellar antigen H and somatic antigen O of Salmonella species, which usually become detectable in blood after seven days on onset of infection in individual infected with Salmonella bacilli. So this test facilitates the quantitative estimation of antibodies to Salmonella antigen in human serum by slight. Um, and tube agglutination tests. So the main principle of this viral test is when the color on the attenuated antigen suspension are mixed with patient serum, anti-salmonella antibodies present in patient serum react with antigen suspension to give agglutination. Now, the agglutination is a positive test result in the indicating the pre presence of anti salmonella antibodies in patient serum whereas the negative test is indicated by absence of agglutination so um, to conduct the experiment uh, we required the viral reagents the glass lights the applicator or the mixing sticks the saline the micropipettes and the serum uh, so uh, firstly what you are going to do is that um, you have to take a glass light which in the uh, which uh, comes in the kit that has six reactions uh, circle here you can see in the given image then the applicators take the saline the micro pipettes so uh, like i said earlier i will be explaining only on the slide method so um, to perform the slide method firstly bring the you have to bring the reagent to, to to the room temperature before performing uh, the test so that it equilibrates with the room temperature and then you have to shake and mix the antigen well before dispensing now uh, you have to place one drop of the control onto a reaction circle um, on the last circle mark as o and then place 50 micrometer of normal saline onto the next reac uh, reaction circle mark as mm, negative control. Now you have to place one drop of patient serum to the tested on each of the required number of reaction circle. Then add one drop of O antigen suspension to the reaction circle containing the PC positive control and physiologically um, normal saline and add one drop each of um, the antigen suspension that is OH, AH and BH to the reaction circle containing the patient serum. Then mix thoroughly the contain of each white uniformly over the entire circle with separate mixing stick or applicator stick then you have to rock the slide gently back and forth and observe for agglutination microscopically at um, after few minutes now the interpretation here you have to observe for agglutination or formation of crumbs in the well in the wells and then compare it with the positive control agglutination is a positive test result and indicates the presence of the corresponding antibodies in the patient serum now the absence of agglutination is a negative test result and indicates that corresponding antibody is not present in the patient serum as um, this um, as this well shows agglutination with O and AH antibodies, uh, the corresponding antibodies, namely S paratyphi O and H antigen, are present in the patient serum.
Hence, the, the infective organism is the Salmonella parathyphi A. We also have the slight semi-quantitative uh, method, which is recommended for obtaining the quick uh, approximate titers for antigens tested positive in the slight screening test. So, um, that's all about the slight screen method for the viral test.